This video discusses the diagnosis and treatment of urinary tract infections. UTIs remain a clinical diagnosis, meaning lab work is not required for diagnosis. However, urine studies could improve sensitivity and specificity of the diagnosis and help facilitate more effective treatment. Microscopic evaluation of the urine sample might reveal pyuria, defined as more than five white blood cells per high power field. Hematuria may also be found and is present in nearly half of cystitis cases. Finally, it is equally important to establish the epithelial cell count as a form of quality control of the urine sample. The presence of more than five epithelial cells per high power field is considered a contaminated specimen, making other findings in the urine sample unreliable. Dipstick tests are quick and inexpensive and can detect the presence of nitrites and leukocyte esterase. A positive nitrite test indicates the presence of gram-negative bacteria, which are capable of converting endogenous nitrates into nitrites in the urine. Leukocyte esterase is an enzyme found in neutrophils and other white blood cells, and a positive test also indicates pyuria, the standard threshold to establish bacterial colonization that is reflective of bacteriuria is greater than 10 to the fifth colony forming units per millimeter of urine. A gram stain may be performed on the acquired culture to determine the cause of the bacteria in the UTI patient. Three important antibiotics often used to treat UTIs include nitrofurantoin, trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, and ciprofloxacin. Nitrofurantoin acts to inhibit bacterial cell wall synthesis as well as bacterial transcription and translation. It has a low risk to cause antibiotic resistance and is first line antibiotic treatment for acute uncomplicated cystitis. It is less effective for pyelonephritis due to low blood levels and low tissue penetration. Bacteria must produce their own folate from PABA. Folate is necessary for DNA synthesis. We obtain our folate in our diet. The antibiotics trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole are combined together and inhibit bacterial enzymes necessary to convert PABA into folate. Without folate, the bacteria can't replicate. It's important to remember that Bactrim can cause hyperkalemia. It does this by inhibiting ENAC in the distal tubule. Can you imagine the elderly patient who's going to be put on Bactrim for bacteriuria when she's already on a stable dose of an ACE inhibitor in spironolactone. Of all the electrolyte imbalances, Hyper-K is the one that emergency department personnel are always chasing because of the lethal ECG changes and it can cause on its way to cardiac arrest. Also take with plenty of fluids because it can crystallize in the urine and cause damage. Ciprofloxacin belongs to the quinolone class of antibiotics. Ciprofloxacin has good gram-negative coverage, so it's useful for UTIs. Its mechanism involves the inhibition of bacterial DNA gyrase, an enzyme necessary for bacterial replication. Phenazopyridine helps alleviate the dysuria, urgency, and irritation associated with UTIs. Phenazopyridine often causes a discoloration of urine, which may appear dark orange or reddish. There is some evidence that cranberry or blueberry juice may help resist bacterial attachment to the bladder wall, but there is no clear evidence that these will prevent or cure a UTI if a person is at high risk. Now for questions. If you chose the following, you are correct. Thanks for watching.